Okay, as you know, my name is Ahmed, and uh, today I'm starting my SQL database version 8 uh, tutorial. And I have planned to finish this uh, on weekend. So this is my YouTube channel and subscriber. And as you know, I'm an AS associate and database consultant, and these are the things. Now today I will discuss about the introduction uh, of MySQL. So I will not go very fast uh, because uh, maybe you will not get understand. So to, today I'm covering uh, the theory part, uh, which is uh, required mm -hmm. to understand the Microsoft architecture. So let's begin with uh, micro, uh, my SQL history. So basically, uh, the first version of MySQL uh, is uh, on 23 May 1995. This was the first version uh, which uh, released. So almost uh, 20, 20 plus a year, MySQL is in the market. And the name of MySQL well, or my SQL, this is the confusion, what we should hmm. call. So the better is my SQL, okay? But people call, called my SQL, okay? So better pronunciation is my SQL. This is the correct uh, naming of that. Uh, so the co-founder of Mo Monty daughter name is my, so because of that, uh, it's name my SQL. And my SQL is the most popular open source database. Okay, uh, from so many years, and it is basically built for modern database design uh, for web based application. So, mostly social media uh, platforms are using MySQL. So, because it is uh, web based, uh, it is a suitable for web based application, means if developer want to change anything. It can uh, it is mute uh, your side. Uh, so my SQL uh, is mostly popular in web-based applications. And as I said, MySQL is an open source database. And MySQL is an RDBMS, uh, RDBMS uh, database management system, means relational management system, where you can combine two tables and uh, both the tables have one column, so which will be common in both the tables, and then they will join with each other. So suppose if you are accessing uh, the columns from both the tables, then you can access in one query. So that's why it is called as relational database management system. And it is the second top uh, database uh, uh, in the top five uh, uh, ranking. So almost from uh, last uh, five to seven years, I'm seeing MySQL is on uh, second position and Oracle is on uh, first position. And MySQL is owned by Oracle. And MySQL can run on multiple platforms like Windows uh, and Linux and Unix and so you can uh, work on MySQL on any platform. And uh, basically it allows uh, the user or developer to innovate quickly. That's why it is uh, very famous in the market. And uh, almost uh, out of 10, nine of the websites are using uh, this MySQL. Uh, or MySQL, and it is highly popular on social media like Facebook, Twitter. And MySQL uh, is now supports terabyte sized database, and also MySQL support SQL standard, which is uh, SQL 2016, but it also supports uh, some stuff from uh, SQL 2003. And MySQL basically to create a handle uh, up to 10 to 100 million rows or around 100 MB per table. So these are the little information about MySQL. And the usage of MySQL in Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Uber, Booking.com, PayPal, 
and uh, Netflix and Airbnb. So these are the most popular uh, companies which are using MySQL, okay? Now come to on the rank. So this is the report generated in July, 2021 means this month and here my SQL is on top two. So if you see that uh, uh, Oracle is top one, my uh, Microsoft SQL Server is three and uh, Postgres is on four and MongoDB is on uh, five, okay. So basically the method of calculating of the scores of the uh, database engine ranking is means number, uh, number of uh, mention of the system on website uh, and frequency of technical discussion about the system, number of the job offers uh, in which the system is mentioned and number of uh, 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 relevance in social networks. So these are the things on which basis DB engine ranking is uh, calculated. And now come to MySQL Enterprise Edition. Just like as Oracle Enterprise Edition, MySQL is also has Enterprise Edition. Uh, so it has uh, uh, Enterprise Server, basically fully integrated transaction safe and ACID compliant uh, database and MySQL Enterprise high availability, basically where, uh, in MySQL it is InnoDB cluster. Okay, so that is basically used to provide high available solution for your database. And MySQL uh, Enterprise scalability. So it, it has uh, uh, MySQL Enterprise thread pool, uh, which allows you to scale the performance of your application. Uh, in the face of uh, increasing user query and data load. And uh, MySQL Enterprise Authentication, basically user uh, uh, against your existing directories, uh, directory services and security rules, which you can do that. And also MySQL uh, Enterprise Audit, uh, which generates a complete audit trail to track MySQL access and usage that it has encryption uh, also, so it protects uh, sensitive data is stored in MySQL database. And also it has TDE, uh, that is transparent data encryption. It will protect the data at rest and uh, security uh, manage your encryption keys. And also it has firewall, which ensures real time protection against uh, uh, database specific attacks. So these things you will get in MySQL and also it has a masking. Masking means uh, de-identity and uh, uh, anonymous uh, sensitive data. And uh, it has also management tool which will help you monitoring, backup, development, administration and migration. So these things also you will get it. So in monitoring, you will get uh, real-time visibility uh, into the performance and availability of your all my C, uh, SQL database. And for backup, it provides uh, hot online secure non-blocking database backups. And it has also uh, uh, inter uh, workbench enterprise edition, which will provide a uh, GUI uh, to design, develop and administration of my SQL database. And also it provides the support uh, basically, uh, which is available uh, uh, class support in 29 language and it is 24 by seven into 365 days. So these are the things uh, which you will get. And uh, MySQL Oracle integration. So uh, in, in addition to Oracle Enterprise Manager, uh, Manager MySQL is now uh, integrated with uh, almost all relevant Oracle products uh, like uh, your Oracle Linux, Oracle Golden Gate, Secure Backup, Fusion, uh, Enterprise Manager, Database Firewall, Audit Wall, and Key Vault. So MySQL is uh, uh, suitable for all Oracle related products. So it is better to use uh, with uh, Oracle also. And uh, for uh, uh, for learnings or uh, for checking the things, you have uh, MySQL uh, website, that is mysql.com, which will give you product information, services, 
like training certification and support and you can check white papers webinar and other resources and also it has a development zone that is uh, dave.mysql.com okay if i click on this yeah it is working so uh, this is mysql uh, database sites okay so like that you can get it and uh, many many information you can get it uh, from these and now come to mysql or my sql trainings so basically uh, this will uh, first is the fundamental uh, which will cover a developer and a database administration because it has two section like oracle uh, database and uh, if you finish my sql fundamentals then after that you can go for my sql for developers and my sql for database administrator and then uh, uh, it has uh, uh, two more advanced training uh, for DBA. It is uh, my SQL performance tuning and my SQL cluster. But for developer, it can go only for my SQL performance tuning. So these are the training which Oracle is providing. Okay. And certification also, it has uh, my SQL database administration certification and my SQL developer certification uh, that you can give online uh, from Pearson View, uh, which is available for almost 175 uh, countries. And now come to my SQL uh, client uh, server uh, uh, module. So in my uh, SQL client uh, server module, what you will get, if you see the diagram, uh, so it has uh, the MySQL database system basically uh, uses a client server architecture. So to access the data in a database, uh, a MySQL uh, SQL server must be running. And uh, the MySQL server is the central program that basically manage database contents and my SQL server program is called as my SQLD, okay, MySQLD. And uh, uh, it, 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 it will listen for incoming connection request. And the D in my SQL D is a daemon or a program or a process uh, that run in the background uh, waiting to be request to perform a task and client program connect to that server uh, to retrieve or modify the data. And the client in MySQL is in any application then, uh, that, that send uh, it request to the database via the server. So client is basically used to communicate with the MySQL server whenever command statement uh, is sent, whether it is a form of PHP script or one of the uh, standard MySQL client. So if you see that there is a MySQL client and there is a PHP, so you can use both the uh, way to communicate uh, MySQL, uh, MySQL uh, uh, server. Okay, that is MySQL D. Okay. This one, MySQL D. And uh, this is MySQL client, and this is uh, PHP client. So those uh, are connecting to this MySQL or MySQL server, and uh, that you can run on Linux and on Windows both. Okay. And. Uh, Connection method, connection method, you can connect uh, by TCP IP and uh, uh, you can use TCP IP for a local connection also and Unix uh, or Linux local connection can use a Unix socket or TCP IP or for Windows local connection can use a shared pipe or shared memory. However, most local connection use TCP IP. So when connection use TCP IP, the default port for MySQL is 3306, please remember that. Just like as OEM, it has uh, 55000 and the listener has 1521 in Oracle. Same way in MySQL, uh, the port is 3306. 
you can change this port uh, number to a different available for, uh, port if you desire. And you can also return to the default port that is say 306 if it is uh, if it has been changed. And uh, PHP uh, and uh, ODBC means open database connectivity. And uh, yeah, so this is all about uh, client server module. And then my uh, SQL connectors. So basically, uh, clients uh, that connect to the MySQL database might be a commercial application or a web page or, or a custom application that is written in a programming language. So that depends. Okay. And my SQL provides software called drivers or connector that enable the client to access the data in the server. So the MySQL connectors are available for Linux, Unix, Windows, and Mac OS. And they can use uh, by a client that is uh, used such as industry in, this, uh, in uh, standard like uh, open database connectivity, ODBC, then Java database connectivity that is JDBC or .NET or MySQL also provide connector for application that are written in specific programming language or scripting language like C, C++, Python. Okay, so uh, driver to other language such as PHP, Perl and uh, Ruby are available from other sources. Okay, so for a client to use a connector, you must install it in on the client host. Same way in Oracle database, we have client server, we have client database, we have uh, main server database. So in client, you will get uh, net connectivity files, something like, so same way uh, it, that work here. And the server does not have to be on the same machine or running the same operating system as the client. So therefore MySQL connector are very useful for providing MySQL connectivity in heterogeneous environment. So for example, uh, if anybody is uh, using Windows machine can run client application that Excel MySQL database on a Linux server host. So this is, this is the way uh, it is uh, re uh, recommended. And uh, for installing uh, this MySQL, uh, we have uh, many options like community edition, which is for uh, free and for commercial edition, which is you can download from e-delivery and MySQL is for multi-platform form like Windows, Linux, and uh, uh, my C MySQL server and MySQL client. And uh, it, it has a, my, a MySQL workbench also, MySQL enterprise backup, MySQL enterprise monitor. So when you install it, so it will ask about what are the products you want. So then you can choose that, okay? So in that you can restrict uh, the things. I will show you in next session about uh, this installation of MySQL, okay, clear? Okay, so that's it for this introduction about uh, MySQL. If you have uh, any query, you can ask or if you have any doubt, you can ask, or later on you can uh, contact me on my website and, uh, and you can write uh, questions to my mail ID also. Yes, any questions?